Hello everyone, you're watching Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm your host, The Coach. This game should not disappoint, so sit back and put that remote down. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. To the air right away is Brady. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On play action, now Brady. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Kiko Alonso came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Shotgun now for Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. That's their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. With it is Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia! An impressive 75-yard punt return. And the Eagles will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. They get the stop defensively, force the punt, and they score without their offense even stepping on the field. I remember playing and playing on special teams and teasing the guys on offense. Like, look, you don't, don't even worry about it. You got to just hang out over there. We'll bring this one all the way back and get the points we need. In this case, they actually got that done. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Dante Hall going to bring it out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. First possession resulted in a punt. What does Mr. Davis predict for possession number two? I'm looking forward to seeing what they had down on their play sheet because most teams start with that script, that so-called script. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by nine-time Pro Bowler Ed Reed. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And now, Charles, they're working with a short field, a chance to make this a two-score game, and these guys haven't even worked into a lather yet here in the first quarter. Yeah, how about that? You score. You take it away, get an excellent return, and now you've got a chance to go up two scores in this game. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And it's caught. Touchdown! Devontae Smith, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw, and the defense, they had no answer for that right there. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. 
And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now 21 to nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And Hall not going to bring this one out. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Brady on third down. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there. An 80-yard touchdown as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this league could become. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Coming to you, coming to you. 47 to Mike, 47. Check, check, 47. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. 
Well, Charles, I mean, things just seem to be getting worse and worse for one sideline. Or flip it over after that fumble return for a touchdown. Better and better on the opposite end. What an impressive first half performance. And, partner, I know the saying in the NFL goes that no lead is safe. But I will say that this one seems pretty secure. And if we continue to see plays like that, I'm going to switch back and say this lead is safe. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here this first half. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get both. Oh, he can't get away. And Brady will go down. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got green. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now Brown. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Going for it all. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, looting the tackle. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there. because He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And Hall not going to bring this one out. Atlanta now coming out on the field. 
Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. To throw, it's Brady. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now Brady. Open. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Loose inside the 30. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? Well, I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kiko Alonso. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. You got to face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now Brady. They go screw. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Eagles. There he goes, left side. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble, they get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And Hall not going to bring this one out. There's A.J. Dillon, such a powerful runner, ready to lead this offense again on this next series. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. From his linebacker spot, that's Derek Brooks with a sack. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. 
And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised them a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped them well short of a first down. Brown with a stick skills. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Calvin Johnson as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the route is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively Lynch fighting, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills, yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines. you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. This is caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Calvin Johnson in the final seconds of the first half, and the Eagles just continue to roll. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. All that remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're gonna make this offense sweat out half number one. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds will tick by in this first half. So two quarter, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Taking in at the three. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. 30. 10. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Eagles. 
Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. On first and 10, here's Brady. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And the Eagles have recovered. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And you can
can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Now a throw here, hauled in. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. From midfield, here's Brady. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Brady now to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Derek Brooks able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Here's J.K. Scott now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. They're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And I mean, for them, he's got a man complete. Don't worry about it, baby. Don't worry about it. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Calvin Johnson, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And Hall not going to bring this one out. And here now come the Falcons. But the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that, because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is, don't quit competing. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Dillon up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter you are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports
The Falcons on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and 11. Throwing now is Brady. And that is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's J.K. Scott now. He's been terrific so far. Taken in at the 22. Brown with a stick skills. So dangerous with a football in his hands. Call that a return of 38. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And he's got some space here. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. So out come the Falcons now. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of... And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Derek Brooks. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Hall not going to bring this one out. The Falcons ready to take over. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about it. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, partner, I think... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee in fact... So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Second and short now following the fumble. Here's Brady. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Thank <laughs> you. 
Brady going to try and throw on third down. Oh, the slant complete to Green. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12 as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. Again, it's Brady. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Throwing on first down is Brady. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Darren Brooks getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, it's obvious, but I can't help but say it here. It's never a good day when the opposing defense has more sacks than you have points. The win seems likely, but this defense is still playing for something here. They see that zero on the scoreboard, and they don't want that to change. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them over. Oh, he can't get away. Brady will go down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Now Brady got to have this one. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here. With got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. The Falcons offense set to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Brady. Yeah, he'll find Hall. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And that will write a finish to this ball game. For the winning team here, Charles, that's about as big and clean of a win as you